This video was made possible by Brilliant. Learn how to think with Brilliant for 20% off by being one of the first 200 people to sign up over at brilliant.org slash HAI. Let's see, a super secret sovereign international organization with ties to governments worldwide that dates back to the 11th century? I don't see why anyone would suspect, uh oh you know what, it looks like a few people do think something weird could be going on here. Here's a one minute history of the sovereign military hospital or order of St. John of Jerusalem of Rhodes and of Malta, aka the Order of Malta. In the 11th century there was a country called the Duchy of Amalfi. A bunch of merchants from there went to Jerusalem, which was ruled by an Islamic caliphate at the time, and started a hospital to care for anyone from any race or religion, something rather progressive for the time. But then the Crusades happened, the Christians conquered Jerusalem, and the regular order became a military order with the goal of protecting the Christian stronghold. They were pretty successful at that until 200 years later when Jerusalem was conquered again by an opposing group and the order was kicked out. So, they went to Cyprus, then they went to Rhodes, and then they went to Malta. Oh yeah, and they weren't really called the Order of Malta until they got to Malta. And while they were there, they got really powerful, briefly owned the Caribbean islands of St. Barthélemy, Kitts, Croy, and Martin, and then in about 1800 your boy Napoleon di I, I mean Bonaparte kicked them out of Malta, and they went to Rome, where they still are headquartered today. The mission of the group is stated as Tuitio Fide Erosquequiem Palpirum, which, if you don't speak Latin, translates to Defense of the Faith and Service of the Poor. The faith in this context is of course Roman Catholicism, the faith that Jorge Bergoglio practices, who is also known by his other name, Pope Francis. The Pope is the very reason why the Order of Malta is a sovereign entity today, just not this Pope. 105 popes ago, Pope Paschal II said that the Order of Malta was a sovereign entity, and since the Pope was basically president of the world at the time, at least the western world, everyone listened to him. So, still today, the Sovereign Military Order of Malta is sovereign. It's treated like a country even though it doesn't have any territory. It does have buildings, like its headquarters in Rome, but these buildings aren't technically territory of the order. They're considered extraterritorial territory. Extraterritorial territory is the kind of territory that the embassies of any country are in. Embassies are not subject to the local laws of the country that they are in, but they are not territories of the country of origin even though they're subject to the laws of the country of origin. Therefore, since the order's properties are extraterritorial, the Order of Malta has no real territory, making it the only sovereign entity in the world to exist territory free. But they do have pretty much everything else a country has. They have coins, they have stamps, they have license plates, and even passports. Only 500 people have this passport though, making it the most exclusive in the world. 105 countries actually recognize the order as a sovereign entity, so 105 countries will actually let members in on their order passports, but they do have recognition from the most important organization, the United Nations. The UN's declaration of an entity's independence is really the definitive determinant for whether or not the entity is sovereign, so the order really is sovereign. They aren't, however, full members of the United Nations. They have permanent observer status, much like the Vatican. The Order of Malta even has embassies in 75 countries worldwide and a military. The unique political independence of this group allows them to hypothetically use their military to invade a country and start war without the approval of any other country. Nowadays, however, the Order's primary focus rests on charitable acts around the world. They still hold true to the mission of their original hospital in Jerusalem and administer aid to those in need regardless of their race or religion through employing over 25,000 doctors, nurses, and paramedics globally. Although, a secret society wouldn't be very good without some secrets, so you can never be really sure who's in the Order because they don't release that information publicly. Some people will say that they're members, but many don't, which helps fuel some of the conspiracy theories. Alleged members include George H.W. Bush, Ronald Reagan, Rick Santorum, and plenty of other powerful politicians. But if you want to join the Order of Malta, use its military to topple the oligarchy, and usher in a new age of tyrannical international dictatorship, you'll probably want to get smart. And there's no better place to get smart than Brilliant.org. What's unique about Brilliant is that they make you smarter by puzzling through well-crafted questions that really teach you how to think. I personally love their logic course, especially the Rational Detective chapter, because it has really helped me improve my problem solving and critical thinking skills. Each one of their courses is superbly designed with straightforward explanations, simple graphics, and thought-provoking puzzles. It's a brilliant way to get smart. 
By going to brilliant.org slash HAI, you can get started for free. And then by being one of the first 200 people to upgrade to the premium subscription, you will get 20% off.